alcohol actually blocks mTOR. It turns it off. So this is why a lot of athletes will go through periods when they're trying to train where they're going to stay away from alcohol. mTOR is a very important protein. And the people who had originally discovered it kind of out at MIT and other places, they discovered it because what it was involved with was it's involved with the ability of a cell to grow. And the cells that grow the fastest are those like cancer cells. So, so they had identified it as something that is turned on more in cancer cells. They grow faster and they can divide more and they can increase their size much faster than the rest of the cells in our body. But what our contribution was, what we did was we did a, an exercise in an animal that would cause lots of load through some muscles, less load through other muscles. And what we could then do is see over six weeks, how much did those muscles grow? And the ones that did the, the higher load or went closer to what we call failure, they grew more and they became stronger. The ones that were less taxed, they didn't do as much work, they didn't grow as much. And then we went back and we did a single bout of exercise and we looked at that protein mTOR and how active it became. And what we found was that there was a pretty much a direct correlation between our ability to activate that protein, this enzyme called mTOR, and the ability for that muscle to grow over six weeks of exercise. So, so that was the first kind of indication that this protein was going to be important in our muscles. The other thing that most of your listeners will know is that they get bombarded by all of this thing, oh, you need to eat protein, you need to eat protein. One of the other things that mTOR does is it senses how much protein we have by looking for one specific amino acid. Well, it looks at two or three, but the primary one that it looks at is an amino acid called leucine. And leucine is one of the essential amino acids, and it's one that is, tends to be um, lower in our environment. So when there's high enough leucine, our bodies take that as, oh, we have lots of kind of nutrients around us. And what that means is this is a good time if we want to grow. And so that's important because evolutionarily, we didn't have much food. Muscle is the one of the most costly tissues in your body. So if I don't have much food, but I have a lot of muscle, I'm going to go through stress much sooner than somebody who's smaller. So evolutionarily, our muscles were kept kind of small. And what this leucine-rich protein does is it comes in to our muscles. If we get it to the right muscles, it is going to activate mTOR as well. And so one of the things that we helped then establish was that when we do our exercise, our heavy resistance exercise, if we do that and then we take a source of leucine-rich protein, and their thing, any animal protein or, or dairy is a really good leucine-rich source, then what we're going to get is we're going to get a bigger effect of the exercise than if we just exercised alone. And so that one protein, that one enzyme mTOR in our muscles is sensing how much exercise have you done and how much of the food that we have around us do we have so that we can either grow bigger or do we need to stay small? And so it's really kind of centrally regulating how big your muscles get. And so we all know people who they don't do much and they get really big muscles. And we all know other people who try and do lots and lots of exercise, but their muscles never seem to grow. So a lot of that is because we have differences in our ability to turn that protein on, that mTOR protein on, and we have differences in other regulators of mTOR. So one of the things that, that we know, and this is maybe going to be disappointing to your listeners, is that if you were to go to lift weights on a Friday afternoon and then go out and go and hit the pub and drink a, a number of pints there, that alcohol actually blocks mTOR. It turns it off. So this is why a lot of athletes will go through periods when they're trying to train where they're going to stay away from alcohol. Um, we know this from studies that we did with colleagues in Australia, where they just took the Australian rules football players who used to do their heavy weightlifting on Friday. They just moved that weightlifting sessions to Wednesday and they suddenly got these bigger muscles because they didn't get inhibited by the fact that they went out to the pub that night. So lots of different things are targeting that protein mTOR because we know that if we turn it on, we, we're going to get a bigger, stronger muscle. There are different things that we can do 
that are going to keep it kind of less active. 